Hey, what's up guys? It is Boost HD here and welcome to Tech News Episode 1. So without any further ado, let's get right into it. Okay, so I've been trawling around the news today and found a couple of news stories. One that seemed to have taken my eye the most uh, is this whole idea that the government and more importantly the Education Secretary uh, want to scrap ICT. And uh, this has come up before in the past, it came up about a couple of months ago as well, uh, this decision, this whole argument about scrapping ICT, and they want to replace it with something either like computer science or computing. And this decision was made in compilation with the universities who argue that uh, ICT does not cover the grounds for those students uh, like me, ICT students who then want to go and uh, study at university uh, under a field of computer science. They say that, that ICT does not give you the necessary skills required to do that sort of degree. And I normally relate ICT and computer science uh, back to the 1960s. And my uh, theory is that um, if ICT was uh, in the 1960s and computer science was available in the 1960s, uh, ICT would be working with databases, invoice systems, uh, graphs and Excel spreadsheets, while computer science, on the other hand, would be looking at the engineering behind the computer, actually building the computer, looking at all the components. But now I think over time the line between the two is actually blurred since everything has now become uh, computerised, so to speak. So I think that's pretty much the main reason why um, they pretty much you cannot t sometimes you can't tell the difference between computer science or ICT, and a lot of schools uh, tend not to teach uh, computer science or computing since simply because they don't have the facilities to carry that out. So instead, they uh, teach the alternative, which is ICT, which has come up leaps and bounds over the past uh, twenty years uh, since computers have been uh, developed. So another point that the government argued uh, and the universities also argued was that ICT doesn't cover enough coding. Uh, whereas computer science does cover like, a massive wide range of coding. Uh, but we do cover some coding in ICT, especially when working with websites and maybe even sometimes some databases. But mainly with computer science, you cover a, a hell of a lot of coding in there. It's pretty much code, code, code uh, for creating all sorts of formulas. So now you guys like to hear what you think about this whole topic. Do you think the government should scrap ICT and bring in computer science? Or do you think they should just run it alongside each other? Feel free to leave your comments down below. And I'll see you next week on Friday for another tech news video. Take care and bye for now. Don't forget to subscribe.